What's up guys, this is Yasser. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasser's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about 9 Pandora scents from Paris Corner. Now coming in at number 9 is not really my favorite. I don't really have a 10th one from the Pandora line. I wanted to do top 8 but I've heard some people still like this one. This is my least favorite from the Pandora scents that is double black. And this is a clone of Killian Back to Black. I'm not sure how Killian smells like. I'm sure it should smell better than this one. The notes in this kind of smells, you know, like average quality to me. Now, the reason why I'm placing this at 9 is because I don't like smelling this on myself, but I like to smell this on my wife in the dry down. The opening is too loud. It is too heavy on that honey and tonky bean note and it gives sort of that heavy powdery vibe which I don't really enjoy smelling it on myself but I like smelling it on my wife because I think it suits women more. Now this is my personal opinion. Killian Back to Black is a total unisex fragrance. In general perfumes are unisex but it all depends on what you personally like smelling on yourself and smelling on others. So I like smelling this on my wife rather than smelling it on myself. So. For me, this would suit women more because of that honey and tonk bean sweetness, which sort of gives that powdery vibe. I still don't like the opening of this one because it is too heavy, very strong projection for first three hours and gives a good lasting of 10 plus hours. So that is Double Black by Pandora Sense. If you like honey and tonk bean sort of fragrance, you can try this one because I still see that some people like this one. So I thought I'll still place this. Otherwise, I would have done a top eight. So this is at number nine. Now coming in at number eight is Amber Grand by Pandora Sense. Now this is known to be a clone of Maison Francis Courjouan Grand Sewer. Okay, I have not smelled that as well. And this is, sorry, I'm showing you the wrong one. I think I missed to keep the presentation. Just quickly get that one, okay? Okay. I'm not planning to do a separate full review on these specifics unless it is very important. So I thought I'll cover the presentation as well for these fragrances. So this is how it looks. Amber Grand Pandora since 100 ml. It says Maison de Perfumery. So probably, sorry, probably they have tried to clone Maison Francis Courjouan Grand Sewer. Okay. And you see this Paris Corner logo here. It says Pandora Sense here as well and made in UAE. So the batch, I don't see a batch code. It doesn't give anything like manufacturing or expiry date. Okay, a little strange, but doesn't matter. Okay, now this is how the bottle comes. Now talking about the scent, this smells like those car fresheners which you get. The amber based car fresheners that I'm talking about. Very nice orange, bit of amber. And in the dry down, you get a nice sweet vanilla, which is after 30 minutes. The opening is very strong. And it can get annoying if you overspray this one. This is very strong. If you're looking for performance, you can definitely try this one. Orange and amber. That's what the opening is. Very heavy. Two to three hours of projection. Sometimes even in the fourth hour, it can still project. It has a very strong opening. It gets smoother in the dry down when the vanilla starts kicking in, which is after 30 minutes. So lasting wise, it gave me easily about eight to nine hours on my skin. So maybe on clothes it can get a little more. So if you like that sort of blend, definitely give it a try. That is Amber Grand by Pandora Sense. At number seven is English Intense Leather by Pandora Sense. So if you haven't seen the outer box, this is how the outer box comes. It has that bear symbol. It does not mean that they have used the leather of bear. It is not allowed. I don't know why they have kept this bear. Maybe to show that it is intense leather. Okay, it is definitely intense. It says Pandora Sense here, Paris Corner here, uh, 100 ml Eau de Parfum concentration made in UA, which you can see here. And this has the expiry date of August 2025, which means manufactured in August 2020. So coming to the scent. Now they say this is a clone of Tom Ford Tuscan leather. I do agree, but the opening has that very strong leather along with amber. 
there's a bit of that olibanum vibe as well so that amber makes it a little sweet along with that strong leather vibe so sweet doesn't mean floral or just gives that slight amber sweetness to that leather nuance which is in the opening and in the dry down it's more like a spicy leather fragrance now if you don't like strong leather fragrance don't try this one because this is very strong on the leather note now it projects easily about three hours sometimes even in the fourth hour and gives a great lasting of 11 to 12 hours the name absolutely suits here it says english intense leather on the cap as well the back is pretty lean and you see Paris Corner symbol here, you see that tag here as well and you will see this little sticker here. So performance wise, great, very strong leather. If you like that very strong leather, you can try that one. So coming in at number 6 is Sovereign Spice Burst by Paris Corner. I'll show you the presentation. Okay, this is how it comes. It says Sovereign Spice Burst, 100ml Eau de Parfum Concentration, Paris Corner. And you see Pandora Sense written here as well. Expiry date details are here, which is August 2020. Okay. Now looking at the box, I think you might get an idea of what it is. Spice Burst. It's a clone of Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. Now, do I agree with that? Definitely. But not in the opening. The opening has that very evident ginger note along with some pepper note so the opening is definitely spicy but it does not go in the direction of spice bomb by victor and rolf it is ginger and pepper now in the dry down which is after 20 to 30 minutes is when it starts getting into that direction of victor and rolf spice bomb and i totally agree that it is one of the best clone of spice bomb that i've tried because i don't think many do spice bomb clones so i haven't really seen anybody who could do it as good as this one except for the opening because the opening like i said is pepper and ginger so it does not give any vibe of spice bomb but after 20 to 30 minutes when that ginger note settles down that's when it gets closer to spice bomb by victor and rolf now after that ginger settles down you would be able to sense some cinnamon and saffron as well so overall a very nice spicy fragrance and it is definitely about 80 to 85 percent close to victor and rolf spice bomb in the dry down which is after 20 to 30 minutes do not judge this in the opening but if you are okay with that ginger and pepper opening definitely try this one because the performance is also very great in this one it projects about two to three hours and it gives a good lasting of eight to nine hours now this is more suitable for the winters in my opinion but you can pull this off even in the summers in the evening and night times not in the daytime not really recommended but definitely you can wear it in the evening time if you still want to try it out so that was spice burst by paris corner pandora scents now coming to the next one which is at number five is club sport by pandora scents now they say this is a clone of dear home sport okay now i'll come to that soon this is the presentation it says club sport home which means men's by pandora scents you will see paris corner here you see pandora scents written here the expiry date is feb 2025 which means it is manufactured in feb 2020 okay that's about the presentation now how exactly this smells this has a very nice tangy citrus opening total citrus opening tangy citrus opening just like the name sport it smells very sporty so i think this is one of the best gym scents your sport scents that you can try or if you happen to step out of the house in the high summers and you want to smell fresh like a lemon this is definitely a good scent so i'm not trying to say that it smells bad but the opening is totally citrus very tangy citrus and it best suits for the high summers because even when you sweat you will smell very refreshing now in the dry down which is after 20 to 30 minutes it starts going into the direction of mercedes-benz cologne now i would still not compare this with dior home sport because that citrus in dior home sport is more soothing very smooth juicy sort this is more tangy this is also compared with Dior Home Sport and that's why I'm saying that this goes more into the direction of Mercedes-Benz Cologne rather than Dior Home Sport because this also has that tangy citrus along with that ginger. Now I get the ginger after 20 minutes in this one and now along with ginger you would also get geranium and sandalwood in the base which is after 45 minutes to 1 hour but I prefer calling this as a good clone of Mercedes-Benz Cologne. Now this also costs like 1600, 1700 for this price. 
this is a no-brainer guys if you're looking for a nice fresh citrus scent definitely try this one now performance wise a decent projection of one and a half to two hours and it gives a good lasting of six to seven hours so not bad at all in terms of performance so that was club sport home by pandora sense a good clone of dior home sport in general but i would rather say it's a better clone of mercedes-benz cologne now at number four is night of the man by pandora sense i've done a full review of this one as a separate video you can check it out this is known to be a clone of Lanouille de Lome Eau de Parfum, but I don't really remember the smell of Lanouille de Lome Eau de Parfum. So I've compared this Eau de Toilet with this one, and I would still say they're about 80 to 85 percent close. Now the difference is because this has that juicy citrus in the mid. This lacks that juicy citrus, so the cardamom is almost very similar. This cardamom is a little juicy and tempting because of that juicy citrus in mid. Now, because that citrus is not evident in this one, the cardamom smells more like that dry cardamom skin along with a little dry lavender. Doesn't mean that it smells bad. This is definitely good for what price you get this for. This again costs 1,600 to 1,700. For this price, this is about 80 to 85% close to this one. Dry cardamom, dry lavender. This has that juicy cardamom and lavender. That's the difference. So if you do not have the budget to go for this one, definitely try this one because the performance is more or less similar to this. This is not known for heavy performance, but this slightly projects better in the first two hours. This one projects about one to one and a half hours, just about one feet. And it gives a good lasting of five to seven hours, okay, as a skin scent. But for the price, don't complain. Great scent, good quality scent. Because Lanoui de Lome clones are very, very rare. So this is one of the best that you can try if you do not have the budget to go for this one. So that is Night of the Man by Pandora Sands by Paris Connor. Okay, at number three is Bachelor Home Sport by Pandora Sands. Okay, now this is a clone of Allure Home Sport. I don't know if they have cloned this as Allure Home Sport or Extreme or the normal version because the normal version has this slight lighter gray this one is more dark okay but i've compared this with o extreme which i have and i would say that this is also about 80 to 85 percent close to chanel allure home sport o extreme maybe they clone this after allure home sport which is also by chanel they have a similar bottle but lighter color than this one possible i haven't smelled that so i really don't know about allure home sport but Porto Extreme is the most popular from that Chanel Allure Home line. So I've compared this with the O Extreme version and this is still about 80 to 85% close. A very nice citrus with that nice minty sort of peppery nuance. So along with citrus you also get that minty vibe with bit of pepper. So beautiful blend. Do not worry about whether this is a clone of O Extreme or the normal Allure Home Sport because for this price this is an absolute great scent. So don't worry too much if you like fresh scents which has nice citrus, nice mint, a little bit of pepper, definitely try this one. In the dry down you would get a nice dose of cedarwood and musk as well. So beautiful scent for the price. Projects about one and a half to two hours. Decent lasting of six hours, not more than that. I could not sense the smell for more than six hours. But for the price, like I said, don't complain. So that was Bachelor Sport by Pandora Sense. Now coming in at number two is Dreamcatcher by Pandora Sense. One of the best clone of Dolce Gabbana, the one Oda Parfum that I've seen. And this is about 95 to 100% close i have done separate video on this as well you can check it out the reason why i am saying 95 to 100 percent close is because the only difference i see is in the opening for the first 15 minutes and that difference is not because of the notes blending is different it's because this one has more evident alcohol blast in the opening this one straight away goes into that notes which is that beautiful ginger and cardamom along with a little bit of orange and in the dry down you would get a nice sweet sort of spicy amber okay some say this is tobacco basin the tobacco is not evident at all in Dolce Gabbana the one as well I don't get that in this one as well that spicy amber sometimes give you feel of tobacco so probably that is why people compare it as a tobacco scent along with ginger and cardamom 
But like I said, this is one of the closest clones that I've seen from the Pandora Paris Corner line because it's not easy to clone fragrances. Now, when I'm saying 95 to 100% close, I'm even comparing the quality because I could not really sense any difference in the quality after that 15 minutes mark. And that first 15 minutes differentiates because of the alcohol blast that this one has, but otherwise they're very, very close. Performance wise, both of these gives one to one and a half hour of projection and a good lasting of six hours, five to six hours, not more than that. You pay four and a half to 5,000, you still get the same. You pay 1,600 to 1,700, you still get the same. So price doesn't mean that you get better performance. The more you pay, more performance. Nothing like that at all. Some people have this misunderstanding, so I just want to clear that. So that was Dreamcatcher. If you like Dolce Gabbana, the one order perform. And if you do not have the budget for that, definitely go for this one. This is one of the closest and a good quality clone that I've seen from Paris Corner. Now at number one, the reason why I'm placing this at number one, that is Heros by Paris Corner. Not because this is the best clone that they have made, but this one surprised me with a compliment from a stranger. Okay, and that's not something that you see in common in India because Considering the culture that we see in India, you don't really get compliments from strangers. It's only those who are close to you, your close friends, your close relatives who like opening up and telling about how good you smell, they will compliment you. Okay, but strangers in India don't really compliment. But this one surprised me with a compliment from a stranger. I spread this, I think about six to seven sprays and I just stepped into a shop because one of my friends was supposed to come there to meet me. And there was a guy, he was actually the store cashier. And since I was waiting close by him, maybe about two feet away, he just asked, dude, which fragrance are you wearing? It smells really good. And I told him the name and I was very surprised with that. Considering the culture that we have here, he said it smells really good. Now, they say this is a clone of Parfums de Mali Herod. Okay, if you do not know Parfums de Mali, this is how their bottle comes in. They definitely have cloned the kind of bottle it looks, but this is Pegasus. I have smelled Herod because my brother has that. So I know how Herod smells, but this one is nowhere close to Herod. Okay, I would rather say this smells like a sweeter version of Supreme Gold because Supreme Gold is also compared with Herod. I still kind of disagree with that because Maybe if you say it's a mix of Leighton and Herod, I sort of agree, but I still do not want to force fit something as a clone. This is a sweeter version of Supreme Gold. Now, if you have already tried Supreme Gold and you want a slightly sweeter version of that, definitely try this one. Now, how exactly it smells? It has a very nice cinnamon opening along with that nice subtle sweet cherry note. Beautiful blend, something that you don't see in common. Sweet cherry with cinnamon. How many fragrances do you see with this kind of blend? Very rare and that's why it stands out. That's the reason I'm placing this at number one because otherwise I would have placed Dreamcatcher at number one because this is the closest clone that I've seen. But Dolce Gabbana clones, you might still see it in common because even Perfume Depot has that. And that is about 80 to 85% close, more towards Eau de Toilet. This is more towards Eau de Parfum. This one at number one because it is a unique blend nice sweet cherry along with cinnamon beautiful blend guys and performance wise this is a good performer it projects about two to two and a half hours and it gives a good lasting of eight to nine hours so performance wise also this one is a check mark so performance no problem at all compliment wise not necessary that you should get compliments from a stranger but i'm just sharing my experience this one actually surprised me and that's why I think this deserves to be in the first place. So at number one is Harris. The base, you will get a nice dose of vanilla and labdanum as well, but overall a beautiful scent. If you like that nice sweet cherry, subtle sweet I'm talking about, not in the feminine way at all. With that bit of cinnamon, definitely try this one along with vanilla base, okay? So that's about it. Let me know in case you've tried any of these, comment down in the comment section. See you next time. So keep sharing the videos. Cheers.